we go, let's bring you the story to do with nightlife, where it appears activities around nightlife are fast dwindling. In this report, my colleague looks at what may be leading to a reduction in patronage of night entertainment activities. Social and economic factors such as income and employment can significantly affect how an individual may choose his or her lifestyle. The inflation rate for the month of September is at 37.2%. But how does this translate into the activities of a backchant? For some, having a good time out is a luxury. But for others, it is a means of getting stress off their heads. Tonight, we set out to assess how night activities are patronized following constant reports of economic challenges in the country. A visit by City News to some popular pubs and restaurants in Accra presented varied pictures. The regular traffic congestion at those Sioux Osfor Street was at its barest minimum. The streets were just dotted with scores of people and some traders trying to ply their trade. At about 11 p.m., we stopped at this pub and the place was almost empty. According to the supervisors of the pub, this is not business as usual. We drew closer to some of the night patrons and they shared their thoughts on how they balance the economic trends with the night out activities. This economic activity has affected everything, including our nights, our, our night outing. Everything, I mean, even the provisions we buy outside, it has affected everything. You know, with this, with our outing, you know, we are, we are colleagues from work and this thing is just a bonus or something that's like has helped we coming out to have a little fun things are hard in the system so previously how much were you budgeting for your ninth out oh let's say like thousand thousand five and currently how much are you 200 cities it's very bad and so with the 200 cities are you able to um have that fun to that extent no 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 the fun we wanted to have you know we don't having that fun the country now is bad seriously Take a look around, okay? This joint, this, this is a place that used to be really packed. Back then, you wouldn't get any space in between. But people are really struggling. The few of us who are out here, it's just because we can't stay home and think. You understand me? We sit home and we have to be thinking. You are thinking about school fees. You are thinking about money for your parents, how you cater for your family, every single thing. Things are not going well. Everything is going up before when I when I go out. I don't calculate before I spend. Now I work I work with a, with a calculator. I need to to calculate every single thing that I spend on, just to make sure that I fall in my budget. You understand me? That's the kind of situation that we are in now. It's quite the people that have been coming here have been complaining the prices and the whole lot. So if go like you really have to contact the government so that talk to you so that like things calm down for us because that's the only thing let's say you, you human be you know that's what gets us fed into the mouth the night was not over for us as we journeyed on to a different location. Although the place was apparently empty, we spotted some night revelers while in a wee time. Their table could speak volumes for itself. Patrons here refused to speak on camera but told City News though they feel the brunt of the economic trajectory, they save ahead for their night out. We returned to the streets once again on Saturday night and the story was not too different. Most pubs and restaurants were not as active as one would expect. City News drew closer to some operators of these pubs in view of their patrons. Sometimes you have a budget, you are going out with, and then you get to town, and then everything, the price has been, you know, hiked and everything. So, yeah, sometimes, but then that's why I said, like, budget friendly. If you choose a place which is budget friendly, you know that it's normal. Although the economy is hard, but yes, so people are trying managing their own affairs and yeah, to enjoy themselves too. Yeah, but not much, of course. You know, some people they won't come, they won't talk about it much, but they will just okay instead of them coming instead of them coming like five days in a week, they used to come here like okay maybe three days in a week. As compared to previous days, when the economy is not all that hard, but now people have like limited the way 
they've been coming regularly. You understand it? But I think that it's okay. This we are running, we see it to be like we are still in business. Because customers have been coming all over and over. A lot of them complain. We keep on increasing prices because of uh, the price increment from the other side or the other end. So when, whenever one comes, then maybe we've increased it. Well, by all means, automatically, the customer will complain. So sometimes it affects. They complain like this, and then maybe they wanted to buy more, but because of their target, they buy less. Well, before it was better, but now the way the economy is, it's reducing. The customers are not really, I mean, they, they claim hardship. So we are just hoping for a change. Last year was way, 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 way better. And now you see the place is quite empty. Yeah, so we are just hoping for a change because I think three months ago the place was full. We had more customers, but now they are reducing. Reporting for City News, I am Emmanuel Opong from Osu Osfor Street.